Hi, my name is Tanya Vesra and I'm on a team at Brown University that studies patient provider communication. The team is Ira Wilson, Bart Laws, Tatiana Taubin, among others. Our colleague from UC San Diego, Dina Rifkin, brought to our attention an article in the New York Times about medication adherence that was getting some really interesting comments on the online comments section. The comments articulated skepticism, mistrust, and frustration with how medications are prescribed. And as our work often looks at medication adherence, we're interested in the barriers that this found data set reveals and its implications for patient provider communication. Our analysis revealed patients making a lot of their own decisions about medications, patients expressing distrust of medications and medical practice, and mainly patients not communicating their doubts and decisions to their providers. Here's a quote that captures some of the ways non-adherence was being normed. There was a time, let's see, was it when Eisenhower was president, that a doctor gave you a prescription and you had it filled. Then came the proliferation of specialists and myriads of drugs, some miraculous, some monstrous. We especially liked how the data created by New York Times readers revealed how a highly select sample of patients think about medication and the doctor-patient relationship. We also explored an interesting resonance with Habermas's theory of communicative versus strategic action. And we concluded that providers could benefit from understanding some of the mistrust of providers and prescribing practice.